So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, it looks like what we're dealing with here are right triangles. Okay, looks like we have two right triangles here. So the question says, in the figure shown, AB equals square root 34 units. I'm going to actually label it, right? So because you'll be taking this exam on a screen, you'll have scratch paper. I would suggest, first of all, let's, actually, let's go through this. It's pretty good. Anytime I see a complex or a compound shape, what I mean by that is I see this right triangle. I'm looking at it as being superimposed on top of this right triangle. When I go to take notes, I'm not going to draw it in the same way that it's been presented to me. I'm going to draw those two shapes as separate, right? So I'm going to draw the small right triangle as, you know, B, C, A with my right angle there. And I'm going to draw the larger right triangle in the same orientation separately. And that is A, D, E. Okay. So now I'm on my scratch paper, and the question tells me that AB is square root 34 units. So I'm going to label that as root 34. It then tells me that AC is equal to 3 units, so I'm going to label that as 3. And CE is 21 units. Now, I don't have CE in my drawing. I just know that CE is a portion of AE. So I can go back here and put a C if I'd like and just say, okay, from there to there is 21. Okay. What is the area in square units of triangle ADE? So we want the area of this triangle here. Well, how do you find the area? Well, it's the base. So area is the base times the height. Do I know the base? Well, actually, I do because, again, AC is 3, right? So this is 3. So altogether, that would be 24. So my base, B, is equal to 24. How about the height? Well, I don't know the height here of DE. I don't know what that is. I can, however, figure out the height of BC because I have... A right triangle and I know two of the sides so anytime I'm missing a third side I just use Pythagorean theorem so that would be 3 squared plus let's call this h for height h squared is equal to the square root of 34 squared when I do the math there I have 9 plus h squared equals 34 I subtract 9 from both sides and I'm left with h squared equals 25 and of course, I square root both sides, and I'm left with h equals 5. So my height here is 5. Now, why is that useful? It's useful because even though this question hasn't said it, what we're dealing with here are similar triangles. How do I know they're similar triangles? Well, both triangles have a 90-degree angle, right? So they share that angle. And both triangles share angle A, right? So by angle-angle theorem, um, there are similar triangles. Even if you didn't know angle-angle theorem, what I hope you do know is anytime two triangles have the exact same corresponding angle measurements, right? So the 90-degree angle matches, the angle A matches, and by default, that means angle B is equivalent to angle D, right? Because the three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So if two of them are already the same across both triangles, the third one has no option but to be also the same between the two triangles that makes these two triangles similar to each other. And it's the similarity that's going to help me answer this question because now I can make a proportionality statement that says the base of, of the small triangle over the base of the large triangle is equal to the height of the small triangle over the height, I'll call this a capital H, over the height of the large triangle. I can then cross multiply here to get 3H is equal to 120 because 5 times 24 is 120. I divide by 3, and I'm left with h is equal to 40. There is my height, right? So h is equal to 40. So how do I find the area? Back to my area equals 1 half base times height. It's just going to be, and I'll just you know clean this up, or I'll go over here where I have more space. My area is going to be 1 half. The base was 24 times the height is 40. I'm going to just take this half of 24 and make it 12 times 40. And therefore, the area is 480. So there's our answer, 480 for the area.